बेर एक्ट बेर एक्ट किसको बोलते हैं या ऑल आर्टिकल्स आर गैदर्ड एट वन प्लेस राइट इट्स कॉल्ड बेर एक्ट so uh, when you are going to attempt upsc because most of them of you have already clear, you know already finished your bachelor so most of them you will attempt very early right 2025 26 27 hai na aise hi hoga right fine so see uh, we are going to talk about ncrt and in ncrt there is a ninth class ninth from the ninth class there is a political science from uh, 10th class there is a before ninth there was also some you know in social science there are discussion over you know government panchayati local government in the sixth class right then the, you have 11th class right and then you have 12th class now there is a two way to proceed one is you know just take the ninth class book and then proceed the finish first ninth class and then you know jump to the tenth class and then once you finish the tenth class then you jump to the eleventh class right and then after eleventh you finish the twelfth class but what what happens basically you know there is some advantages and some disadvantages by this proceedings now what will happen you know many topics that is covered in the 9th class also covered in the 11th class right so better if we talk about that we take the theme theme wise we take the theme and then proceed for example theme is a making of india's constitution making of india's constitution which is there in the 9th class project. Ninth or tenth, tenth class, right? And then let's talk about the constitution, right? First, we'll discuss constitution, and then we'll talk about the making of India's constitution, right? Which is which is there in the eleventh class, which is there in the uh, ninth class, right? And then we'll talk about the many constitutional provisions, right? For example, if you look at preamble, right? here in preamble they, if you look at i will teach you preamble at least one week because preamble is a very central to india's you know political philosophy if you see right preamble you know consist many words yeah have you seen preamble right what are the root word in the preamble socialism secularism rights republic justice equality fraternity right and the same things that you have to read in the 11th class ncrt called political theory in the political theory we need to read about talk about you know the idea of justice right and it's different dimensions one is one dimension is social justice right then you have to talk about liberty you have to talk about equality right so if we proceed uh, you know thematically then what will happen you know we will take up all the matters from the all the classes and it will be at one place got the idea at one place and that will be easier for you also and for me also right so that we will do so after preamble i'll talk about you know for example i'll talk about you know citizenship citizenship then i'll talk about you know the right so first we'll talk about constitution right in the first few days i'll take uh, two days or three days to discuss about what is constitution what do you mean by constitution right where this constitution comes from right and then i'll talk about making of india's constitution and then we'll talk about preamble right after preamble we will follow the idea of citizenship after preamble we'll follow idea of oh preamble na no? yeah preamble 
in preamble when i'll discuss you preamble i'll discuss you lots of concepts like i'll cons- i'll talk about the concept of sovereignty then you know uh, sovereignty socialism then secularism then democracy republic right then i'll talk about you know justice and its dimension social justice economic justice and political justice right and then i'll talk about liberty now liberty then equality then fraternity right then uh, integrity the word integrity itself there is in the constitution what does it mean right and if you look at a uh, few more term yes equality here i'll discuss about equality like all these terms all these uh, you know concepts are discussed in the 11th class right i'll give you task okay to read that to read this chapter and then come and, and we will discuss the concept right one by one first we'll take the root word of any or any concept we will take the root word and we'll define the root word its entire dimensions right and then we will move up the concept right okay and after preamble i'll talk about you know uh, citizenship right citizenship and then after really you know discussion over citizenship i'll take up fundamental right right fundamental right and dpsp right and then after fundamental DP, uh, rights and dpsp i'll talk about fundamental duty after fundamental duty i'll c- come to the you know federalism federalism and in federalism i'll talk about you know the various dimension of federalism what what does it mean the word federalism right where it come from what does it mean what are the different models of federalism in the entire world right including india so we will do comparative study and then we will talk about after federalism we'll take about talk about center state relation center state relations in very brief there are three dimensions of center state relations right and then after center state relations we'll talk about no no government here in government we'll talk about legislature executive and judiciary and the fourth we'll talk about the independent branch of the government right independent branch of the government right for example election commission right like finance commission will take up finance commission election commission right uh central vigilance commission nahi ncrt mein nahi hai uh ed nahi bilkul bhi nahi jo ncrt mein nahi hai usko discuss nahi karenge election commission hai i'll talk about elections and political party elections and political parties right how election is conducted in india right and other part of the world what are the electoral law what are the law that is applicable right so electoral law what are the law that is applicable in election in india as well as in the other part of the world right so that will be and i think that would be the end of the course right yeah apart from this if you want me to discuss any other concept like there's a one concept called development development peace right the theory of peace theory of development okay i will discuss definitely right any other uh, topic that i have left sonia hmm security ha ah, ncert mein hai kya hai security is there i'll talk about security don't worry ah let me discuss security 
right the difference of security how you know uh, the concept of security has evolved and what are the traditional you know security what is the non conventional you know what is the internal security what is the security you know threat from the outside right so, so we'll do, discuss don't worry about security any things ha huh, yes uh, i'll talk about international relation that is a part of that international relation here we'll talk about the post world war 2 world the post world war 2 world now if you look at for example a uh, cold war right and we'll talk about the rise of superpower rise of superpower and then we'll talk about the detente have you heard of the word the detente ba- baat karenge we'll discuss it detente new detente right uh, this is a french word and then we'll talk about the collapse of the uh, ussr collapse of the ussr and then we'll talk about you know the hegemonic world hegemonic world or have you heard about the word hegemony no hegemonic world if you look at after 90 america evolved as a unchallenged power right entire world started believing that america is a super power there is no parallel power right so dominance is yes america is dominant very powerful but there is a challenge now america is no hegemonic power now right because there is a challenge from the china the challenge from the russia russia has revived itself and china is actually you know increase its power right and challenging america so america is no more hegemonic power in the world but if you look at from 1990 to 2000 america was hegemonic power right it its power was unchallengeable right so the the power of america has declined over the years since 2000 we'll talk about hegemonic world and then okay we'll talk about few things in the current you know scenario what is going on for example soft power right hard power sharp power right so international relation we'll take up so this way we will go not one by one, you know book one by one book rather than one by one topic right and two months would be the com- sufficient more than sufficient am i making sense yes. pakka yeah any doubt if you have about books that which books you need to study of course ncrt usse zyada kuch nahi padhna hai usi ke ird gird you know we will revolve around ncrt not more than that right few more information i'll give you right because knowledge is a set of information isn't it so every information has their advances stage right and then later advances stage i'll give you information till ncrt and then little more not more than that theek okay. hai so that we will uh, that we will uh, how we'll go ahead in the class do we need to refer lakshmika not at all swapnil not at all lakshmikan padhne ki koi zarurat nahi hai right baad mein padhna lakshmikan ncr to to pad le dhang se of course no you we need we are actually gathered here to study ncr t let's first discuss ncr t right uh, many concepts of it and ncr t book are one of the best book let me tell you right in clarifying your uh, basics right and later on if you can you know read lakshmikant or you can read advance right i will not mention the advance like many supreme court judgment many cases many idea revolving around that otherwise it will be advance theek hai bahut logo ko samajh mein nahi aayega bahut logo ko samajh mein aayega to bahut log interest interested nahi honge we are not meet here to you know to discuss the advance level courses making sense yeah uh see uh, whenever you make notes very good you know very good you know how note making issue how you 
make the note you know uh, for example you make notes theme wise right and when you make notes consider this is a a4 size i hope you all are all are writing on a4 size right one by fourth sides you can keep blank one by four sides you keep blank and you write in this page now why you need to keep blank this page this side because sometimes you know you get information later on right you can put this information here or you know consider this is a story in a in a page now some story has its keyword you can write here keywords a story will be in your mind if you capture keywords you can write your story if you understood the story clearly right don't need to read this keyword will help you in revision okay and make uh, topic wise of course make topic wise topic wise notes right a uh, copy thoda mota mat rakh ek patla patla rakho theek hai take a very thin copy right and write on it and uh, you know each topic uh, will be covered in approximately sometimes five pages set tip is six pages sometimes 10 pages fundamental right is a landier right so it may take more more pages right so depends on subject got the idea any issue yeah i will not take your class tomorrow i'm supposed to go somewhere right to speak something so i'll not take your class tomorrow we'll finalize something ki what to do about tomorrow right i'll give you some task assignment okay read this and then come right that you know that topic we should agree upon theek hai anything that you want to ask nahi kuch to bolo yeah because kya hota hai ncert mein jab hum dense ho jate hain to student thoda sa उसको दिक्कत हो जाती है राइट सो दिस आर द बेसिक्स विल कीप द क्लास वेरी लाइट मोड ठीक है आराम से पढ़ेंगे राइट यू हैव एंटर्ड लेटर या कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ योर नेम इज ऋतिक ओके बी ए फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स कहाँ से कर रहे हो बी ए फर्स्ट ईयर कहाँ से एस एल से ठीक है ठीक है तो या कुछ पूछना चाहते हैं या ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स डिड यू गेट द आइडिया हाउ विल प्रोसीड हाउ टू मेक नोट्स और किताबें सोर्स ऑफ स्टडी शुड बी द एन ओनली द बुक्स यू नीड टू रीड ओनली एन राइट एंड क्लास नोट्स राइट इतना बहुत है बैर एक्ट में अभी तक जानने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है आई विल नॉट एंटर इन टू द बैर एक्ट यू नो बैर एक्ट किसको बोलते किसको बोलते बैर एक्ट नहीं बैर एक्ट बैर एक्ट किसको बोलते या ऑल आर्टिकल्स आर गैदर्ड एट वन प्लेस राइट इट्स कॉल बैर एक्ट राइट येलो कलर का होता है यूनिवर्सल पब्लिकेशन का बहुत सारे पब्लिकेशन यू नो इशूज देर बैर एक्ट राइट बट बेसिकली आर्टिकल वन से लेके जो भी आर्टिकल है सब रहता है आर्टिकल राइट फोर हंड्रेड जो भी है एंड देन ऑल शेड्यूल यू कैन फाइंड यू नो तो या देर आर ट्वेल्व शेड्यूल ना नॉट एट शेड्यूल देर आर ट्वेल्व शेड्यूल्स यू कैन फाइंड देयर राइट देन यू कैन फाइंड लिस्ट लिस्ट वन लिस्ट टू लिस्ट थ्री राइट यूनियन लिस्ट स्टेट लिस्ट एंड कॉन्कोरेंट लिस्ट यू कैन फाइंड इन द बेर बेसिकली ठीक है, सो वी विल नॉट एंटर इन टू द बैर ठीक है बैर एक्ट अभी हम लोग नहीं जाएंगे हम लोग बेसिक जो कॉन्सेप्ट है ना उसको ही पढ़ेंगे एनसीआर टी न्यू और ओल्ड एनी थिंग दैट यू कैन यू नो बोथ यू कैन रीड फ्रॉम माई साइड दर इज नो इशू इशू इज द थीम वट थीम यू वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट इज इंपोर्टेंट आर वी डिस्कसिंग डेमोक्रेसी consider we are discussing discussing democracy you can take the ncert 
old one or you can take new one new one no issue at all right the sub the theme would be the same the essence of the theme would be same either old ho chahe new ho right new mein thoda sa jo orientation hai teaching ka wo badal diya hai the new ncert is little different from the older one the older is one is a little boring right the newer near one is you know with lots of example it gives you right so both you can consult either one you can consult no problem right hers so koi bhi ncert aap consult kar lo no issue at all now the issue is theme what theme we are doing dealing with are we dealing with a concept for example there is a concept called rights suna hai concept rights ka so rights aap kisi bhi par ncert se upar lijiye theek hai na right you study rights from any book do you understand hindi no okay fine right so any book you pick there is no worry right for example we'll talk about a concept of uh, federalism any book you pick there'll be any book you can pick right book se koi antar nahi padta right some books explains you more some ex- books explains you less some books uh, you know gives you language that may be prob you know that may be problematic to comprehend to understand you know few books give you in a very lucid language right so language ka antar hota hai there is a difference in language but there is no difference in concept concept would be the same right the content of content matter of that subject would be the you know wo kabhi change nahi hota hai right got the idea anything that you want to know have you noted down what will you study likha nahi likha to likhe not it down writing should be the important part of your class not it down how we will go through right once you done let me know so ncert and class notes should be enough for what ronak yeah that would be enough for your basic understanding not for the upsc yeah most of the few questions you can solve not all right preamble mein hum itne sare concept padhenge right integrity right yaad rakhna integrity what is the meaning of integrity आप फ्रेटर्निटी पढ़ेंगे नो शू एट ऑल विल टॉक अबाउट फ्रेटर्निटी टू आई मूव या राइट इट ना वन मोर थिंग आई टॉक अबाउट जस्ट रिमेंबर इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स इंस इंडिपेंडेंस इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स इंस इंडिपेंडेंस here we will talk about how indian politics actually you know uh, proceeded after 1950 term class mein hai hmm If you find anything uh, not comprehensible, let me know. Right? My writing is very bad. My writing is very bad. So 
So if you don't find, uh, no, it's unreadable, let me know. I'll explain what I have written. Online students, have you written Arjun, Brajesh, Sreya, Soham, Dayan? Have you done? Once you've done, then you can write only D so that I can understand. Yes, you have done. Any confusion if you have any uh, confusion in word? Done. Treya, very good. Hers. Arjun, very good. Okay. Done. You done? Yes. Yes, Ritik. Have you noted down? Okay. not making yeah so let me talk about the word quality itself so now I word now yes. yeah, se aaya hai ye? where this word come from what does it mean sorry the quality actually a term bata deta hon. this term was coined by Aristotle Aristotle Kanam? He was a student of Plato. Plato. Plato was a student of Socrates. Right? And these three philosophers was a Greek trio. No? Plato, Socrates, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, generally known as a Greek trio. And he coined the term polity. Now, what does he mean by the polity? Basically. What do, what do you understand by polity first? One by one. Affairs concerning a state. Okay. Anyone else? Acha. It is an activity. So can I say collective activity? Collective activity, you know, regarding a state, government, and power, right? Governance word use mat kije. The word governance has different meaning, different connotation. It's ka alag matlab hota hai. Are not able to hear you, Acha, aisa kya? but uh, here it's showing me that my voice is reaching to you. Hers, am I audible? Treya, Partha, Arjun, Brajes. Uh, sometimes you may have connectivity issue. Yeah, anything about quality? The collective activity regarding state, government, and so now this is you know politics. What is different between politics and polity? There is a difference. If you look at politics, is different from polity. So what have you said? It is a politics. If you look at what have you, Sravanya said, it is related to, of course politics not the polity right 
now if you look at the term which is coined by uh, aristotle he said the polity refers to the constitution the way of life and how people are governed in a country right it also refers to the relation among the states relation among the states so the word polity refers to right what is the word refers to the constitution the way of life and how a city state is governed to right a polity can be different from one country to another country like uk polity may be different from us polity similarly india's polity can be different from french polity right so polity refers to constitution right government way of life and how people are governed how people are governed in any country right it has a broader meaning it has broader meaning right as as it also refers to you know interaction among the states interaction or i say politics among the states politics among a state now if you look at this definition is very broader definition and if you look at polity now the french polity can be different from the indian polity or the us polity can be different from right so basically we are concerned here to study indian polity right the word polity is very different so aapka jo kitab hai usme likha rehta hai indian polity what the idea so we are here to discuss indian polity ab now what does it mean by indian polity you can say that refers to the india's constitution the indian government the way of life people live here in india right how the rights they exercise how duty they have they owe to the state right and how people are governed right how people are governed for example political party right or ngo or civil society right pressure group right right and it also among the you know politics among the states of course how india interact with the other other country right so basically we are you know indian polity would be different from different from the british polity or french polity and here we are gathered in this class to study indian polity now look at when we talk about indian polity indian polity then what we have concluded we need to focus on india's constitution india's constitution we need to focus on government now government itself there are three layers of government in india If you look at इसको मिटा दू मैं पहले लिख लीजिए आप लोग रनिंग नोट भी होता जाना चाहिए हो गया पक्का ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट हैव यू नोट इट डाउन वट जनरली वी कैन डिफाइन पॉलिटी हु कॉइन द टर्म पॉलिटी राइट ठीक है नाउ इफ यू लुक एट सो बाई डिफिनेशन वी आर जस्ट ब्रेकिंग इट द पॉलिटी इंडियन पॉलिटी नाउ in we have to need we need to study constitution we need to study government again you have see that three layers of government you have union government you have a state government and you have local self government even then there are varieties of local self government right there are varieties of local self government there are rural self government rural local self government like panchayat 
right there are autonomous district council in the north eastern north east country north east sorry states like you must have heard about garo hill jainta hill kashi hill you know so wahan par alag local government hai theek hai a uh, fifth schedule area agar aapne suna hoga ki tribal area jo hai na wahan par jo main land hai india ka usme alag sa local government hai so there are three layers of government union government state government and local now each government has three branch each government has three branch what are they yeah online students what are the three branch of the government batai unko batane yes yes aap logo ne bata diya thoda unko bhi batane dijiye let the may let the you know let the make the space inclusive and participatory executive legislature and judiciary yeah. executive legislature and judiciary right now uh, we have talked about constitution government government way of life you know the way of life would be different for example somewhere you can find way of life would be democratic isn't it the life would can be democratic or maybe not democratic right before democracy what was the life what was the life basically for feudal before democratic we were still we were uh, feudal in many sense right we think along the line of caste we line we think along the line of religion religion dominates our life every day you know and that is a feudal so before you know democracy there was a feudal society was a feudal right we are trying to be democratic we are trying to be right we are portraying ourselves as a democracy so democratic way of life so we need to understand democracy right democracy and there are different forms of democracy we'll discuss there are different forms of democracy right direct democracy indirect democracy right in direct democracy again you can say that representative democracy the modern world in the even then that democracy has different shapes like you have heard about participatory democracy like gram swaraj right gram swaraj means the panchayat local rule local self government is a very much participatory democracy then there is a one concept called deliberative democracy suna hai deliberative democracy kya matlab hai uska yeah when we basically discuss the issues we debate we deliberate right hum log bahut baatein karte hain facebook pe twitter pe right unko likhte hain gaali nahi dete generally if you look at you know what happens when people have no logic no rationality then they start abusing facebook pe dekha na twitter pe wo hota hai gaali galoj even to ab to television pe bhi chalne laga hai maar pitai chalne lagi collar pakad le ek dusre ka wo deliberation ka part nahi hai deliberation means you must be informed citizen and you put your uh, point in front of the other right and there may counter you you must really listen them also aisa nahi ki apne jab time aaya to bol diya dusre ke time aaya to khub uske upar itna bola ki uska kisi suna nahi ha huh? many times television television the best example right hota hai na ladai hoti hai ek dusre se koi koi kya bol raha hai kuch pata nahi so basically there are different forms of democracy right the participatory democracy there are deliberative democracy india is a most deliberative society within family we deliberate shaadi karna hai ki nahi karna hai kab karna hai kaun si job karni hai ye job nahi karna family is a first institution of del- deliberation right and deliberation is good deliberation means discussion debate right and where debate is not allowed let me tell you 
that family or that family cannot be called democratic family simple hota hai na right similarly society should be deliberative right society should allow other to you know to speak hai na and so we'll talk about democratic way of life democracy we'll talk about and how people are governed we'll take up here so this is all about the indian polity that you study sab kuch yahi hai advance mein bhi aapko yahi sab padhna hai aur kuch nahi padhna hai question jo aate hai upsc mein isi se aate hai yahan se leke yahan tak right so that we we will study theek hai the next class i'll discuss about what is constitution why do we need constitution where this word has come from right which country has made the constitution basically kya matlab hai constitution ka not today did you get the idea yes sir acha kuch puchna hai do you have any question query no pucha karo sir uh, yes uh, polity and politics there is a politics is a activity politics is a collective activity Polity is more than that. Politics, polity is not about only collective activity, but also how this collective activity should go, right? How this should collective activity be organized, right? Who are the part of this collective activity? Whether the citizens or whether women are allowed in that collective activity or not? For example, parliament. Now, twenty thirty three percent reservation bill has been. you know passed by both the houses got the idea so politics is all about collective activity polity is how this collectivity activity could be organized so polity is you know normative you know normative matlab normative means it is loaded with value ab bologe sir value kya hai aapne to bada word hi phailate ja rahe ho now value means the polity concern about justice right polity concern about freedom polity concerns about equality the polity concerns about you know uh, 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 equality justice liberty right polity concerns about fraternity right making sense but politics is yeah Politics. Politics. Politics is not about idea. Politics is also idea. Politics is also activity. Politics is also process. So there is a different way to define politics, right? And in social science, there are multiple definitions. Science, just a definition, not here, right? And you are open to define it. you all are open to define politics or polity in your own way but basic essence should be attached to the your idea hai na you can you can analyze in your own way you can explain polity in your own language no issue at all clear yeah. any any question nahi to aaj ka to katha yahi khatam hota hai today's class will end here right tomorrow i shall not take class let me tell you what you need to study yeah if you got somewhere you can find the idea of liberalism kahi se kuch mile for us the idea of liberalism that you should study tomorrow and you know if you look at the we are, we are living in a liberal world the today's world is a liberal world and the constitution is a one of the part of that liberal world right if you look at liberalism it has different salient features and one of the features is constitutionalism constitutionalism means we believe that we should be governed according to the constitution that is a constitutionalism we believe that we should live our life not only we any individual any group or the government 
should run according to the constitution that is a constitutionalism but what is that constitution that we'll talk about right so if you can go through liberalism kaha milega ye hmm hai wahan par liberalism ka hai idea so 11th ncrt I don't think uh, liberalism है अच्छा फ्रीडम चैप्टर है वहां पर है फ्रीडम इज अ कोर वैल्यू ऑफ लिबरलिज्म फ्रीडम चैप्टर है उसमें है तो फ्रीडम इज अ कोर वैल्यू ऑफ लिबरलिज्म राइट उसके अलावा अगर सोशलिज्म भी पढ़ सके बट ज्यादा हो जाएगा टास्क कहीं से सो रीड एनसीआर टी ऑन पोलिटिकल थियरी अदरवाइज मैं तो हूं यहां पर आई विल टेल यू राइट हाँ बहुत डिफरेंस है बहुत डिफरेंस है नाउ कम टू डेमोक्रेसी पांच मिनट में पूरा डेमोक्रेसी पढ़ाता हूं सुनो डेमोक्रेसी मतलब ये दो वर्ड से आया है डेमोस और क्रेसिया राइट The most means people and or क्रेसिया मतलब rule, right? ये क्रेसी से rule आ जाता है यानी rule by people, right? It evolved in Athens. Although we are saying that we are mother of democracy, we are not. There is no evidence. So basically, there is a direct democracy that practiced in the Athens. Now later on, what happened? That democ democracy erased, right? And the new form of government came, like monarchy, right? Monarchy or timocracy. Suna hai naam? What is timocracy? Rule by military. Myanmar is a democratic country. Rule by military. Ha ha. Timocracy may turn into democ dictatorship. Timocracy can be dictator. Right. Look at uh, you know North Korea. Right. The modern democracy. Have you heard about oligarchy? Right. Then there's a uh, aristocracy. Right. Then if you look at democracy again evolve in modern world as a representative democracy. Representative democracy. Now this representative democracy evolved as with the idea of liberalism. जो मैंने नेक्स्ट क्लास में पढ़ाना है आइडिया ऑफ लिबरलिज्म राइट नाउ लिबरल डेमोक्रेसी ऑलवेज हैव अ लिमिटेड गवर्नमेंट बट इफ यू लुक एट चाइना इट सेल्फ क्लेमिंग इट इज अ डेमोक्रेसी और रशिया क्लेमिंग इट सेल्फ पीपल्स डेमोक्रेसी राइट सो देर वॉज अ वन आर्टिकल इफ यू फ्यू डेज अगोड बाई आशोस वार्स ने इन इन द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस कैन चाइना क्लेम अ डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री right so if you look at many countries are also calling themselves as a democracy if you look at north korea it writes you know the people's republic of north korea right it's a people's republic but it is not democratic right democracy means liberal democracy means a limited government right but democracy if you look at modern modern form of government many country claim themselves as a democratic country but they are not making sense a bit right but otherwise bada hi thoda sa lamba sawal hai right he'll get it to know after when i'll de- talk about democracy in very short i have given you answer theek okay? hai any more question not so i'll stop here see you not tomorrow day after tomorrow right meanwhile if you can go through go through kahan se liberalism ab ye ncrt ka jo kitab hai freedom ka usme pad lijiyega right not more than that i don't want to give you lots of pressure mm-hmm.